Hello everyone, welcome back to Azure Bing Leaks channel. This is Charles. Today's topic is the Mini Edge customizable buttons. There are 10 buttons, shortcut button below the Mini Edge screen, which can be customized and configured. Though so then we can just easily to into different menu or PDC camera and output the different safety signal with just one click. The positioning of Mini Edge is for ranking and event witness. So we have made commonly used function into physical buttons for easy and quick access on site. Because the shortcut button only can configuration in the web server. So let's take a look how to configure it. Go to setting customer buttons. You can see all the commands we already provide. The first one is the security output signal. It can replace your program with the background or HTML 1 to 4 or UVC input. Also, you can just output a black screen or color bar. Second one is DSK. The first one will make the shortcut button. Every push will select and use each preset background content. And another one can every push will select and use each preset input from HTML1 to 4. The third one is the input signal one. It can control the input signal one, the brightness, and this one is control the fan speed, and this one can make it slower. The last one is the PDT control. You can see here as the four HDMI input. So today we use two PC camera, HDMI 2 and HDMI 3. So we use this one. And for the security signal, we need to go back to here, go to background. You can see all the background here and you choose one and select it. Let's take a look how to use it. Number one is to replace your output with a saved output signal. You can see all the layers is disabled. So you only can see the background in the program. The three is to adjustment the brightness of HDMI 1 input. And four. Number five is to control the fan speed. Also, the number six. Number three is to enter the PTZ control menu here. So you don't need to enter the menu and use this knob to go to the PTZ control. Just with one button, you can enter the menu directly. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.